So remember when Wada Games simplified their submission, they got rid of the whole retro and modern thing, and they also dropped the price on their complete and box submissions drastically? Well, CGC has finally clapped back and they did it in a massive way, and they did it on Valentine's Day, no less. Absolutely ruthless. So we have to talk about CGC's new pricing and the $10 discount you are going to get if you destroy your Wada video games. Thank you to every single patron who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do it without you guys. Hit the like button and let's get into this. So this CGC pricing update is pretty amazing overall. With this update, they also do get rid of the whole retro modern thing that had different prices for submissions. Retro used to be 50 while modern was 40. Now it's $40 for standard service across the board. And the big thing with this $40 service now is it also does include complete and box grading. CGC is going to give you $40 CIB grading. Remember when Wada did $50 and we were like, oh my God, that's amazing. CGC said, hold my slab and they gave us $40. And the big thing with this $40 CIB be grading, this includes your GSIs and all of the label information with that $40. Remember with WADA, you have to pay an extra $40 if you want your GSIs labeled on the back of the game, if you want the variant information labeled on the front of the label, CGC is including all of that with their $40 grading tier. Honestly, that is pretty amazing. That's a pretty compelling offer from CGC. It's not all rainbows and sunshine though, as CGC did increase the price of their walkthrough for sealed video game. Walkthrough for a sealed game used to be 100, it did go up to 150. It did come down for complete and box games though. It used to be 200, now it's 150. So you win some and you lose some depending on what you're submitting with their premium service and you gain a lot with this new pricing on their standard service. I believe standard service right now is taking 30 to 45 business days. Someone leave their estimates down in the comments if you've had a CGC order returned to you recently. And now here comes the big coup de grace from CGC as a direct shot to WADA games. They're going to allow you to cross over your already graded WADA video games for only $30. That's right, you actually save $10 if you allow CGC to destroy your WADA video game. That $30 tier will allow you to cross over anything $2,500 or less. So that's going to encompass a lot of games. If you have something premium over $2,500, you will have to pay for the $100 crossover tier. You will still have to purchase the CGC membership on top of this in order to take advantage of the service. And the most amazing thing about this crossover offer is it only applies to WADA games. This $30 crossover deal does not relate to IGS, P1G, or even VGA. So that kind of tells you how much CGC thinks about VGA in 2023. In other words, they don't really think about VGA. They don't really care. It's pretty evident that CGC sees WADA as the serious competition on the market, which at this point, you guys should know that I also agree VGA has a lot of catch up to do. One small detail they do have about this crossover special. They're going to evaluate your game in the WADA holder to see if it's a CGC same grade or higher. If it's not the same grade or higher, they are actually going to reject your crossover, but you still will have to pay for it. Most stuff should be right around the same grade, so you should be safe with almost all of your stuff, but definitely keep this in mind. And with all of that, we now have the same discussion that we were just talking about with WADA Games in the $50 CIB tier. It's now only $40 to submit a CIB game. CIB grading is absolutely going to become a lot more popular throughout the year of 2023. I assume that CGC games in general are going to explode in popularity and we're going to start seeing a lot of them. But let me know how you guys feel. Is price your biggest deciding factor when it comes to submitting with these grading companies? What do you still look for between WADA and CGC in 2023. What about VGA? Do you guys still consider them top grade in competition right now? Let me know how you guys feel down below. Hit the like button before you go and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.